This is one of the greatest examples of timber framed buildings in Britain, the Lord Leicester Hospital in Warwick. This was clearly a high quality build for there is a vast amount of woodwork here. Timber was an expensive material and labour intensive so it's a real demonstration of wealth and status. Now this design with these rows and rows of parallel timbers, some even diagonal, is a style called close studding. Other buildings with larger gaps between the timbers was a different style, square panel framing. Now the timber frames were usually made from oak linked together with a combination of timber joints and timber pegs. The gaps may have been filled with rotland daub, which is when small branches were weaved between the frames and filled in with a mixture of clay, horsehair and sometimes horse dung. Sometimes bricks were used to infill the panels. This was a technique known as nogging. But the biggest mistake we probably make today when we think about timber framed houses in the Tudor and Elizabethan era is thinking that they would have been highly contrasting black and white when in fact this was a later fashion developed in the 18th century when they painted timbers with tar based black paint. When timber buildings were originally built, the wood may have been left exposed and weathered naturally to a silvery brown or had been lime washed, or even perhaps if the timber was a bit of a botch job, covered over completely in lime render.